Even for giving us yet another day, O Lord, that we have come and worship you and praise you, O Lord. We are not worthy at all in your presence even to stand before you. But Father, as we hear your word, the best author and also the best interpreter, it is our prayer this morning that you may speak to us of your oracles, O Lord, and that we may work, O Lord, in accordance to your word. It is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. We can have our seats. Praise the Lord. To Zimame. Praise the Lord. Amen. How are you? To Zimame. Praise the Lord. Buona Yesu asifue sana. Yes, my name is Stephen Njora Wanjiro. And Christ is Lord in my heart. You can have your seats. I confess Christ being the Lord in my heart. He saved me at 16 years and I still confess of his greatness because his grace has sustained me so far. Amen. I was reading my Bible this morning and uh, something came to my mind. Uh, I was not going through our readings this morning. But I went through a word in the book of Mark about the woman with the issue of blood. And uh, something caught my eyes. That Jesus was walking in the midst of many people. And there was this woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. And I thought, why was Jesus just walking in the midst of other people? And we are not told about other people being healed. We are not told that other people receive their miracles. But I came to realize as this woman approached Jesus with a heart of expectation. Amen. Because maybe other people are seeing Jesus and saying, Hiya, who you dear Jesus Christ? But they had nothing in their heart. But there was this woman with an expectation within her heart. And that's why she received her miracle. Praise the name of the living God. This morning, as you approach the throne of grace, never come in the house of the Lord without an expectation. Tell your neighbor, never come in the house of the Lord without an expectation. Thank you, elders, for the chance to serve this church. I was here last year, and I'm here once again. Christian education, uh, may God bless you so much. You are doing such a great work in our church. Holy, chosen, and beloved vessels. That is our theme. Holy, chosen, and beloved vessels. I came with greetings from where I fellowship. I am my youth coordinator at PCA Kibiko Parish. They told me when I come to Sosian, I say hi. Have you received their greetings? Now, Colossians has been our verse. And in before I start the Old Testament, please project to us Colossians 3 verse number 17. I want us to be attentive. Then, very few minutes, I'll be done. I want us to read like Sunday school children. That verse. One, two, three. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, 
do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Allow me to start by telling you this, that your acceptance or rejection depends on how you act or how you speak. I want to repeat once again that the, your rejection or acceptance depends on how you talk or how you react. Amen? There are people who love you, not because you have money, but the way you talk to them is enough. There are people who love you simply because maybe you are not talkative, but just the way you do things, they just love you. And so, your acceptance or rejection lies within your ability to act and speak. And that's why I thank God, because... Christian Education Sunday, God ensure that uh, whatever we do or say, we shall do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus. Amen? Praise the Lord. And we have gone through the book of Nehemiah, chapter number 8, from verse number 1 to verse number 12. And we, we, I want to start by telling you whom Nehemiah was. Nehemiah was a man of ability, courage, and action. And Nehemiah, once he spoke on behalf of the children of Israel so that he could rebuild the walls that were destroyed. Nehemiah was a man of action and good leadership. He surrendered to God as a vessel and he brought a lot of reforms in his times. That is Nehemiah. And one thing you should understand is he was totally committed to the work of God. And Nehemiah, one thing you should note is, he never feared the authority, but he respected the authority. Amen? And we find yet another person by the name Ezra now, ambaye tumezugumzia Ezra, who was a scribe, and more so he was the legal religious leader. And the Bible says that people gathered to come and listen to the oracles or to the law of God during the renewal of the covenant immediately after they had come from Babylonian exile. And the Bible says that those people stood and told Ezra, come and read the law of God to us. Praise the name of the Lord. May I tell you something that Christian education you must note today? Our church Today, people are gathering in other squares, but not the square where the word of God is being read. If you want to lose members, talk the truth. But imagine these are people who imagined of coming to hear the word of God, the law. In how many people would come this, to this church uh, in, a, in a single morning after the announcement that on Sunday, we shall have our constitution at the Koran. That will be our, 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 our sermon. How many people will come? Let me see the faithful servants of God. People will say, Lo, my friend, let me stay that way. But those people came with one agenda. We want to hear these oracles. We want to hear the law of God. And one thing we are going to note in the book of Nehemiah is one is careful study and application of the word of God is such a joyful encounter. Careful study and application of the word of God is such a joyful encounter. What am I saying? Nehemiah, imagine Nehemiah had constructed, in fact he helped these children construct the walls. But it was not enough. Because even though the walls would have been constructed and yet people disobeyed God, they would still face the judgment of God. Even though PCS or Sian is stony and we do not obey the laws of God, then it is not worth being in Sosian church. So Nehemiah knew that even though I helped my people reconstruct the wall, I need to help them realize that there is God who has some commandments. Amen. And that is why you read a story in the book of Acts. 
The Bible says that there was a man who was crippled from birth time since he was born. And he used to be laid at the gate called the beautiful gate. Have you heard of that story? And the Bible says, come Mr. Worshipper. Mr. Worshipper, please. Come. I want you to lay yourself at the gate. Just be at the gate. Listen to me. That there was a man who was laid at the beautiful gate every morning. And he was crippled since birth. Are you getting me? And the Bible says that people would come and this man would borrow some money from them. Ask for some things from them. But one day, during the hour of prayer, two servants of God, who and who? Peter and John, were going to the temple. And this man, again, please ask for some money. He was condemned. I do not have money. Silver and gold, I do not have. But in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. May I tell you the differences? People used to meet the man because the man expected from people. And people can only offer money. But when you trust in the Lord, even though he is not going to offer money, that thing that has disturbed you for a long time, the Bible says silver and gold I do not have. But in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Come to peace, yes, Ocean. Expecting not from people, but expecting from God. Because people will change, but our God will never change. I was trying to ask myself, maybe somebody asked, maybe you can sit and ask for money. You know, people are people and they may come and say, See, I gave you yesterday. What is your problem? Women is aware. Those are people. Amen. But God, when God speaks, he speaks of a permanent thing in your life. You can have your seat. And so carefully, the study and application of the word of God is such a joyful encounter. When you come to PCS Ocean, we normally come to experience the Lord, to come and meet with the Father, to come and worship God. And that's why my heart rejoices when I see the, a, a church that worships, when I see a church that says an amen. Hallelujah. Christian education, you have a lot of work to ensure that our people rejoices when they hear the word of God. Despite the length of the reading, people stood and listened attentively. Verse number 8. That despite the length of the reading, people stood and listened attentively. Nowadays, people will switch off very fast, actually. People will switch off very fast and switch on to their phones. Amen. But these people, imagine the Bible says that however long, in fact, there's midday, they are still standing on the square, listening to the word of God. I desire to see a church. That has a culture of listening. And listening to the oracles of God. It is also noted to be the, our young people. Do you know something funny? Our young people can cram a Jamaican song. From the beginning to the end. And they cannot get, tell you as, as he goes. Amen. Because most of our times. We are not listening attentively. To the oracles of God. I pray to God that may God help you so much. That you may be people who will desire to know the rules of God. Because let me ask, do you know there are committed women and men who are offering their money, energy and time investing on destroying our society? There are committed women who have declared that we have to invest our time and energy so that we can destroy the community. Why don't we say 
Through the word of God, we shall not be silent. We shall be committed to ensure that the church will stand for the truth. Christian education, you have work, a lot of work, to ensure that even though people may fear, you are not going to fear to stand for God. Because the world is not silent. People are talking. But what they are talking, you're not sure whether it is good. Amen. Amen. I am almost concluding by telling you this. That Paul, in the book of uh, Colossians, uh, maybe you can project to us Colossians. Chapter number 3. Verse 3. I mean verse 1. Read just to us. Colossians 3. 1. I want us to be again to be like Sunday school children and read together. 1, 2, 3. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. I want us to read once again that since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Amen. Do you know every coin has two sides? We all have our dark history. Whereby people knew us those days. People knew us when we were drunkards. People knew us when we never knew Christ. But the Bible has told us that Christ died and we have risen, we have risen with him. What am I saying? That at this particular moment, because the oldest God and the new has come, when people see you right now, the only thing they should see is the working of Christ in you. Amen? When people see you, they should see Christ in you. Because the old is gone. Because we died with Christ at the cross. And he rose once again. And so when people see us, the only conviction they should get in their lives is repentance. Because we want to be holy, we want to be chosen and beloved vessels. There are things we have to do. And one of them, as Paul emphasizes, is to focus on the heavenly city. Let us not focus on the things of this earth. Do you know there are people who will go to the hospital and the doctor will ask them, and the patient will ask, why? Wewe unafaa kuwa dani ya abirans. Unafikiria ati ni sababu mtoto waki ya memtusi. Somebody ya mepandisha flats. Wewe sasa damu imepanda karibu mpaka mpaka nyona ziamke sababu because of a flat. But Christ, you know Christ says, Paul is saying that let us focus on the things above. Let us focus in the heavenly city. Because let me tell you, the Bible says in the book of Matthew 6 verse number 33 that seek ye the kingdom of God first and his righteousness and everything else shall be added unto you. Amen? So, it is our, my prayer this morning that we may focus on the heavenly city and not the things of the earth. Another thing, as I conclude, is put your other nature to death. Put your other nature to death. Verse number five. That put your death, put to death, therefore, what belongs to the earthly nature. Colossians 3, verse number five. Put to death, therefore, what belongs to the earthly nature. It is very, very common that most members in church, they still confess Jesus Christ. They still do things like Christians. But yet there are other things that we have refused as children of God to put to death. And may I tell you something? Come again, worshiper. I use you so that these people will not forget. So that they will not be blaming themselves. This is how a human being was created. 
please note here. Hello? Tusimame. Tusimame. Yes, tusimame. This is how a human being was created. Amen? When I tell you to go this way, you go that way. When I tell you to go that way, you go this way. So go that way. Come this way. Come this way. Go that way. You can have your seats. This is how a human being was created. Through the flesh. The flesh will act against the laws of God. Amen? But we are being told that we have to put to death the things of the earth. Our earthly nature, which is go that way, he goes this way. It is like the way the law of gravity will function. When you throw a stone, it will come back. True? Because it is acting against the law of gravity. Even a human being, through our heavenly nature, we normally act against the law of God. And we are being told, please, ensure you put your earthly nature into death. Do you know how? When you accept Christ in your heart, you be, you, now you become a bird. Because when you throw a bird upwards, it will fly. But when you throw a stone upward, it comes down. Why? Because a stone has no life. But when you trust in Christ, he gives you a new momentum, a new energy, a new life. Because he has died and risen with you. Amen? You can have your seat. So those who are in Christ, it is good to know that we are working. And we are going in accordance to the law of God and not accordance to the law of the flesh. The last thing as I conclude is we have to clothe ourselves in virtues. You know, if you have not been talking to somebody for four years now, hello church, praise the name of the Lord. If you have not been talking to somebody for four years now, can you go and confess that my heart is good, I feel happy? What happens when you see that person? Maybe you are in district fellowship and singing, I and then you see that enemy. How do you feel? Your heart goes, and you are like, okay, because you are here, let me continue struggling. That is when you forget and sing one standard, this song, the other stands on the other song. You know why? Because the devil is a crazy liar. And he normally says that when you forgive, it is as if you are so low. It is as if you, are, you, 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 have, to say, you have been defeated. But truth be told, when you forgive others, when you live in gentleness, when you live in kindness, when you are patient with people, let me tell you, you live in freedom. Amen. I like that this church, let me tell you. Because you see even the way you connect with your elders, the way you connect with other people, it is not everywhere. And that is why this church is heading somewhere. Because these people are in freedom. And you are also in freedom. Amen? And so let me tell you, the devil is a liar. And Paul is emphasizing on living and clothing ourselves in virtues. Let us remain to be who we are. And let us address each other. With respect and with kindness. And more so, let us desire to be used of the Lord. And that is how we are going to be holy, chosen, and beloved vessels. Amen? It is my prayer that everybody else will desire to be used of God. To be used. And when I talk of being used. When I talk of being used. Will you be tired for five, four, four, three minutes? When I talk of being beloved and to be used of God, where is your seat? You can just sit there. I want, us to, I want, I want you to look at that man very well. You can sleep. Please sleep. No, you are not sleeping. You are seated. Sleep. It is impossible. Do you know why? 
as much as that seat is useful, it cannot be used for the purpose of sleeping. Amen. As much as that seat is useful, it cannot be used for the purpose of doing what? What am I saying? If we are going to be beloved vessels of God, we must ensure that we complement each other. You are the seat, I am the bed. What am I saying? That I am a worshiper, I am in the choir, I am an elder, I am a deacon. So let us be used of the Lord in our whichever capacities. Amen? Because however much that seat is important, that man cannot sleep there. So we need to complement each other. Nobody is complete by being alone. So let us be used of God to be beloved vessels. Amen? So in church, you either agree to be useful or to be useless. It is your choice. Please tell your neighbor, be useful. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. To Simame. Thank you, son. Najambelezako mungu wangu Nikiwa na zuheshi mazote Ni akili yale uyaten Zuheshi mazote Niakili yale uyate na yu Hakika wewe ni mwema Ini wa mkwe wambia ya ni mwema Wewe ni mwema Ini wa mkwe na wako Haufa still in the mood of prayer if you're there and you have a need before the Lord that you want to present to God as we conclude our first service you have a need before the Lord just lift your hand wherever you are we are going to pray together you have a need before the Lord that you're telling God I'm trusting you for something please let us breathe and pray everlasting father for who you are in our lives we have called you that several times and you have, heard, uh, you have heard our cry, O Lord. King of glory, David, says that since he was young and by the time he was old, there was no single day he saw you forsaking him, O Lord. For he trusted in thee, O Lord. It is my prayer, O Lord, this afternoon, this morning, that you may remember your faithful one that are lifting their hands, O Father, trusting you for something in their lives, O Lord. I pray that you may replace every agony, O oh Lord, and pain for joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, I commission them before your hands. That you may remember them in a mighty way, O oh Lord. That they shall stand here and declare of your goodness, O oh Father. Those who are uh, calling upon you, that you may remember them because of their sicknesses, O oh Lord. I pray that you may heal them, O oh Lord. May you meet each and every of us to a point of need, O oh Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray even for the other members, O oh Father, that you may be upon them, O oh Father, and that the peace of God may be upon them, O oh King of glory, in the name of Jesus. I, I want to proclaim that there is nobody who shall die, O oh Father, before fulfilling your purpose, O oh King of glory, in the name of Jesus. Whoever shall stand to declare a curse upon their life, O oh Father, he shall stand and declare of your blessing, O oh King of glory, in the name of Jesus. We worship you, and we give you glory. And you who remember Sarah, I pray that you may remember them, O oh Lord, and that you may supply them with your grace. It is our prayer of faith. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Oh, 
Baba, we 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 baba,